guys, all right. So <laughs> I wanna to talk to you today about being visible and showing up even when there is something you feel insecure about. And um, I think in this instance, the thing that I'm feeling insecure about is glaringly obvious. I will explain to you what happened momentarily. Um, but one of the things that I hear a lot of times from people online when I'm talking about how powerful it is for you to be visible and especially be doing videos and getting yourself out there and um, just building your reputation is, you know, well, it's easy if you're a pretty woman, but what about if I have this insecurity that I struggle with? Or what about if I have this thing that I don't like about myself and I'm not necessarily a quote unquote like stereotypical, um, pretty woman, which is just the thing that I hear a lot from people. Well, here's what I would say. People want to hear from the real you and they want to connect with the real you. And I got a really strong <laughs> lesson in that um, today. And honestly, I did not want to record this video. This is, uh, I don't feel good. My head hurts a lot. Um, and I thought, but gosh, what a perfect opportunity to show up and still show you that even though I am nowhere near how I would normally try to look to record a video for you, I, I still wanna show up because I still have something to say. And so just real quick, I'll share with you what happened. Um, so Friday, I actually got a skin cancer diagnosis and it was very surprising to me. Um, it was from a biopsy I'd gotten done on Tuesday. I just had this spot that had, hadn't healed on my forehead and I finally went in and um, got it checked out and they said it was, it's low grade, so low grade skin cancer, so um, one of the least aggressive types, I guess you could say. Uh, but they wanted me to come in for surgery today. And so I got my surgery done today, got it taken out, it took three passes and um, then they had to stitch it back up and I actually have a, I'm gonna have a scar from like here, the top of this eyebrow up to the top of my forehead. And it's gonna take a little while to heal, most likely. And fortunately, I won't have this gigantor on my head for more than a day. Um, but so so all is well. I mean, it was it's painful, it's still painful. I can't really do a lot of pain medicine because of the pregnancy. Um, but more than that, I think just for my ego, you know, I, I had one moment where I got upset and I thought, you know, my whole, my, my life, my brand, my business is about being visible and showing up. And I've always just been someone who's enjoyed like getting ready and that whole process. And I, it was honestly a, a humbling day and a humbling lesson. And I really thought about like, I don't want anyone to see me like this. And then I thought, I need, people need to see me like this um, because for a lot of people that we follow online and watch, it's like we see them in the polished moments. We see them with the filters. We see them when they've got their makeup done and yada, yada, and um, we don't necessarily see everything. And this is pretty much everything right now. <laughs> this eye is continuing to swell even as I do this video. Um, and I just want to encourage you, if you've got something that you're insecure about, the more you can own it and really lead with it, the more, it's like you put it out there that other people have nothing on it. You know, I think someone great who does a really good job of this is Nick Santanastasso. And if you follow him online, he's got just an incredible story and, um, you know, has one arm and no legs. And he really just puts himself out there and is so visible and, public about that and I think he does a great job of showing that you don't have to look quote unquote physically perfect according to you know whatever standards we came up with in order to um, in order to have something to say and in order to be visible and so often we get caught up in well everything has to be just right for me to put myself out there no it doesn't it doesn't and so I hope that in doing this it inspires you to show up maybe to make that video, to um, be a little more visible, to do that post you've been wanting to but maybe haven't done um, because there's no time that's better than the present. And so um, I just wanted to share this message with you guys. It'll be, you know, I'm gonna be on this journey of healing and um, you know, hopefully in a couple months, it'll be barely even noticeable that I've got the scar, but um, I wanted to share with you the during instead of just the after 
because this is a very real thing for me right now. So um, I hope this inspires you and just know that whatever the message is that's on your heart, like be visible, show up, put yourself out there and, um, and know that your message and your voice needs to be heard regardless of whether or not you're struggling with any physical insecurities. All right, my friend, I hope this helped inspire you and I will be back soon with more video content. Bye for now.